have to embed analytics into their day-to-day -day decision making. And so we focused on a series of recommendations around each of the four categories of the report. In strategy and leadership, first, companies have to really embed analytics into the business strategy. Do they have a business strategy that is really putting data and analytics at the center of how they're competing and creating value in their industry? They also have to pick the right leader. Having an executive at the enterprise level and having leadership teams at the department and business unit level is critically important. In terms of analytics production, you know, data has to be thought about as a strategic asset. They also have to really treat analytics as a strategic competency. Analytics is a broad term that covers things around mathematics, statistics, data science, but companies have to think about what are the skill sets that they really need in terms of analytics at the organizational level, companies should really work towards having an analytics-driven culture. They also have to put the right organizational construct in place. We're increasingly seeing companies move towards what we refer to as a hub-and-spoke model, where you're embedding analytics resources and teams close to the point at which the analytics are being applied. There's also a center of excellence at the enterprise level that is focused on those areas that can benefit multiple business units or departments. In terms of analytics at the individual level, start with the end user in mind. Think about the incentives that those individuals are under and ensure that the incentives are aligned to the change in behavior, the change in action or process that you want those end users to take. And also measure results and ensure that you've got feedback loops in place. You have to be able to ultimately see what is and is not driving value and results.